What is up you guys? Welcome back to another video. Thank you for tuning in. In today's video is going to be an exciting one because we've got another modification for the CLK. I'll show you guys real quick here. So, if you can guess, I'll give you guys a second here. Alright, we're going to be replacing the steering wheel on the CLK. It's going to be an exciting video guys and stay tuned for this one because I'm going to be walking you through on how to replace the steering wheel as well as the airbag and transferring everything onto the new steering wheel. I know you guys are excited to see the new steering wheel and I'll be showing you guys the new steering wheel here real soon. So we went with a flat bottom steering wheel, all carbon fiber at the bottom, all carbon fiber at the top. And for these sides right here, I went with leather because I feel like it would just be a lot easier to maintain it versus Alcantara because you really have to take care of it and uh, I just didn't want to deal with that. I feel like I would rather prefer the leather feel but that's just my preference. In terms of uh, color wise, uh, the company that I got this steering wheel from, they had several colors. Uh, that was close to the interior color. I'll show you guys the interior color if you're not familiar with my interior. It's a blue interior and the color they had, I wasn't sure if it was gonna match or not. So I, I didn't wanna risk it and get the steering wheel and it didn't really match the interior. Especially if you're ordering something from like outside of the country. Uh, you know, it takes some time for them to produce it and send it to you and then if it doesn't turn out great then you're kind of stuck with it or you have to return it and wait for another production. Yeah, so I, I just decided to go with the black steering wheel. Especially the other thing too, it, it matches the accents of the car because most of what we're doing on this car, you know, a lot of the accents are black. See the carbon fiber side skirts, uh, lip. I think it's gonna thunder and rain here very shortly. It's it's pretty dark outside, but um, I don't know if you guys heard that, but that was super loud on my end. Uh, what else, what was I saying? Oh yeah, and you know, also the interior, we've got the carbon fiber on the center console as well. So um, I think it's gonna blend in perfectly. I do gotta change those uh, floor mats to black floor mats. I'll probably steal them from the ML and put them in there. Uh, what do you guys think? I love it. I think it's gonna look great. But these are, these feel solid. 10 out of 10 I would highly recommend, but we will do a review after we install it. Uh, we'll go on a test drive and uh, I'll let you guys know. The steering wheel, uh, as you can see, mine is all the way out. This, to adjust your steering, pushes the steering wheel back. You guys can see it moving. I have mine all the way forward so I have enough space to uh, get access to the uh, bolts back here. It's a T30 to get the screw off of it and same on the other side as well and that should have the airbag come off. There are two clips over here. Make sure you use a flathead screwdriver, just pop it up and these orange tabs will come out. Same thing, flathead screwdriver, just kind of pry from the bottom on both of them and they'll both come out. At the bottom here, there is a wire that hooks up to all the steering controls. Uh, that you just pull out and it just comes out and your airbag is free. This is what you're going to be seeing after the airbags out. Now this is going to be a, a hex 10 and you're going to need two people, one person holding on to the steering wheel and while you're trying to get it undone. And make sure you want to keep the steering wheel still straight so when you put on the new one, it's still straight. Let me bring it along here. Ok, 
Okay, so once the bolt is off, it's got blue Loctite on it. If you have any, you just put extra on there and then reuse it. These wires, all you're gonna do is just fish them out through the hole. Keep going. Yeah, one at a time. You don't want to mess with this because this is the uh, clock spring on the steering, so just don't touch that. Guys, these wires, just feed them back into the steering, steering wheel one by one. After putting everything back together, like right away, it just hit me. This blue has to go. It's got to be a black uh, airbag. So I'm going to end up replacing it with a black airbag so it just matches everything and as well as the uh, center console. Man, this looks wow. This looks really good. I definitely want to show you guys and tell you guys how it feels driving, but I think I'm gonna wait till I replace the airbag with the black airbag and then we'll go for a ride. I can already tell like uh, it's gonna be a whole different driving experience. 